Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make some kawaii chubby axolotl charms using polymer clay. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to be mixing the colors for my axolotls. So for the pink axolotl, I am mixing a pink polymer clay, pearl clay, and some translucent clay for the main body color. Then for the gills of the pink axolotl, I'm just mixing my pink polymer clay with my pearl clay this time, just so it's going to end up a little bit darker than the body color. For the peachy colored axolotl, I'm mixing a tiny bit of orange and pink clay into some pearl and translucent to achieve the body color. And then for the gills, again, I'm mixing a small amount of orange and a little bit of pink with some pearl clay. Finally, for the purple axolotl, I am mixing a lilac, a bright purple, along with the pearl and translucent polymer clay for the main body color. Then for the gills, I am purely mixing the bright purple with the pearl polymer clay to make it a little bit darker, and it looks like this. So to begin creating your chubby axolotl, you want to start with your polymer clay rolled into a ball and then start pinching one side, which is going to become the tail. So you want a part that is slightly pointed at the back of the design. Moving on to the face, I am creating two indents where I want the eyes to go and then I'm adding in two balls of black polymer clay. I also decided to add some little light reflections in the eyes to make it a little bit cuter with white polymer clay. And then I added some pink cheeks on either side of the face. To create the mouth, I started off with a line of black polymer clay in the center of the face. And then I'm using my needle tool to curl up the ends to turn it into that axolotl smile. Next up, I am mixing some white polymer clay with pearl clay, and this is going to become the color that I am using for the axolotl's belly. Flatten a small piece of this color into an oval on your work surface, and then you can gently remove it before then positioning it just below the face. To create the axolotl's legs, cut some even sized sections of the body color and roll each of these firstly into balls so that you can see that they are the same size. You can then go ahead and roll these into teardrops on your work surface by applying a little bit more pressure on one side than the other with your finger. Once I had created my four teardrops, I then positioned two of the legs on either side and I faced them towards the center of the belly. Moving on to the gills, you wanna take your darker colors of polymer clay that we mixed at the start and cut off three even sections for each side of the face. Once you have done that, go ahead and roll each of these into a teardrop shape as well, and also slightly flatten them down. You can then go ahead and take a needle tool or a similar tool to create some indents in the bottom of each gill to give it the texture that it needs. Once you have added all of your indents, you then want to position three of the gills together and do this for either side. Then using a round cookie cutter, I am trimming off a little bit of the inside part so that I have a flat surface to work with and I'm simply connecting these to the rest of the charm. For a final little detail, I'm going to be creating some hearts to go on the front of the face, which are kind of going to resemble scales, but I also like to add three little hearts on any of my chubby animal designs as kind of like a trademark. So that's what I'm doing here. I just took some small pieces of polymer clay and created an indent in the center using a needle tool to make that heart shape. And then here I'm just gently positioning them on. If you would like to make your axolotl into a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin. And then of course, I repeated that process with the other colors as well before then baking them in my oven. After baking, you can go ahead and add some super glue so the eye pins don't fall out. And then I also added a coat of UV resin as my glaze to make them nice and shiny. 
So here are what the Kawaii Chubby Axolotls look like once they're completely finished. I really love how these three designs turned out and I think the colors look super pretty with the pearl and translucent clay as well. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys.